If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. My point with Tom and the Buccaneers is yes, I think they can still go on their Super Bowl run. Um, one, because that offensive line, the, the offensive line that's the best unit in the NFC playoffs, in the playoffs, to, to be honest Big with you. Big boy got hurt last night, right. uh, yesterday, though, with right. an ankle. So that's still the part that gives me pause. More than Godwin out right now and AB out right now. Because, Stephen, you said uh, it, it's too much for Tom Brady. I think he's proven to us that nothing is too much for Tom Brady. Um, if, if Tristan Wirfs is not as hurt as in moments of yesterday's game he looked to be, then I still think this team can go on a Super Bowl run. Because of the big five up, up front, they're phenomenal. Here we are at Raymond James Stadium. The playoffs are underway. It's Super Wild Card Weekend. On Fire's Daylight, Gio Bernard. Fire the cannons. When you put a Bucks helmet on, there's a level of expectation. You just have to be the best you. Caught ball, Evans. He's got a Tampa Bay touchdown, and the Bucks put the dagger in the heart of the Eagles. When guys go down, other guys have to step in and do the best they could do, and they're counted on in big moments, and glad we can really count on those guys. We're going to need it again next week. It only gets tougher from here. Tom Brady and the Bucks began their postseason in pursuit of a second straight title with a dominant win over the Eagles, 31-15. Brady had two pass TDs and has 85 career playoff TDs, 40 more. Then the next closest quarterback, Rob Gronkowski, had a quiet day aside from his TD, but climbed to fourth on the all-time postseason list for receiving yards and third in career postseason receptions. That offensive line is, is the best unit in football. It is. Tom helps them play better, but they also are dominant. I mean, Jensen's phenomenal. Wirfs is an all-pro. Marpet's an all-pro. The one thing that I do like for the Bucks is what a draw. The Rams wind up losing. They're not the, in week 18. They're not the two seed. They're the four seed. They got to play this game tonight. And then they've got to come visit Tampa. Not the other way around. Tampa doesn't have to come back here where they've already lost to take on the Rams. Right. They just sit around. And I know they had to play a game, unfortunately for them, in which Tristan Wirfs is hurt in that game. I like the way that they just sit at home. A West Coast team has got to come on a short week. First ever Monday night football playoff game. You know, you, you, you never know what that team's going to look like the next week because this has never been like this is all new ground. You'd rather be the one sitting at home saying, come on, West Coast team here to the East Coast. Come here. And uh, I, I like their draw. And see if the Niners can beat the crap out of the Packers or even knock them off and they don't have to move at all before flying out here. Tom still has two gold jackets throwing the football to. Like Rob Gronkowski yeah, right, and Mike right. Evans and are two right. gold jackets. And, and they've right. kind of simplified stuff. We're saying we trust our offensive line. I'm putting Mike over there. Mike one-on-one -on -one go win. Yeah. Rock worked the middle I, of the field. I just, if I, Worfs is healthy, I st and I'll, I'd also say this, one last point. The fact that San Francisco is the matchup versus Green Bay yeah. – Gives them a okay. huge right, advantage. Right, 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 right. That is not a good right. matchup for Green Bay. Green Bay. It is not. I take that's, 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 I agree with you. If they're help. I agree right. with you as well. Passing yards, two interceptions. He wasn't great, but they also were held to 95 rushing yards on 17 carries, and that's a big part of the story because they're the number one rushing team coming yep. into this game. Uh, a big part of the reason why it was – it was an interesting game. Obviously, we feel like the Bucks are the better roster and in the better situation, and obviously they have Tom Brady and Bruce Arians, but the physicality in which the Eagles run the ball made it feel like this was going to be closer. Tom Brady was great as well, 29 of 37, 271 passing yards, 115.2 passer rating, and they rushed for a combined 106 yards and two touchdowns. Here, here's what's scary in the NFC. Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones – their two best running backs for Tampa were not available. Like, so this team has another gear. It would be, it'd be, that'd be like Kansas City last night doing that to the Steelers without Tyreek Hill or Kelsey. Like, Tampa's really at its best. If you go back to last year with a power running game, yeah. Brady didn't have it, and they still took a 31-0 lead. I think that is the example, like the Bucks and also the Packers. A really, really good team can lose a player or two and still be able to have a great performance. They yes. can they can do that next man up thing. A yeah. team that's kind of in the middle, when you lose certain players, everything falls apart. It become very player reliant on one or two positions, but that's not the situation with the Bucks. And of course they still have Tom Brady. So you want to hold something against Bill Belichick, what you hold against them is his decisions as an executive, you know, in terms of drafting wide receivers and stuff like that. But here's the ultimate indictment against Bill Belichick. Tom Brady is doing what he did. And because of your greatness, 
You didn't want to look at this dude's greatness and say, you know what? Let's ride this wave and let me listen to this dude that I tutored. You see, because that's the unforgivable sin in all of this. Molly, if you're a boss yeah. <clears throat> and Michael Irvin works for you and you nurture him and he grows under your tutelage, yeah. his success is your success. Mm -hmm. Why be threatened by that? Why want to sever those ties? They're an extension of you. Mm -hmm. Bill Belichick, in the end, didn't look at Tom Brady like that. And so when Tom Brady goes elsewhere at age 44 right now and still doing what he's done, it's been phenomenal. Here's what I want to say, because I've been off, and I want to say this about Antonio Brown. <clears throat> Antonio Brown is a disgrace. I watched over the last several weeks. And I didn't have a chance to get this out. Let me be very, very clear. He has betrayed the organization. He has betrayed Tom Brady. Now, he can sit up there and clean up his comments about Brady over the last few days like he did all he wants to. But after all Brady did for him in New England mm -hmm. and then in Tampa and you living in his home and him looking out yeah. for you and all of this other stuff, the game before he had his meltdown, he was targeted about 12 different damn times. Yeah. And then you looking for a bonus and, you know, you, 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 you act up because you're not getting targeted enough and you want to get out the game. And then you're going to go on, on, on some podcast. I forgot which one. I apologize. I ain't knocking the podcast at all. I forgot which one it was. But he's talking about Brady's my friend because of football, because of what I could do yeah. for him. Yeah. Let me just Super say this real quick about A.B. In his statement, he said that it was not a mental health issue. It was that he was forced to play hurt. So just to give his side of the story there. Everybody's. Trying to be, they're forcing everybody to play hurt. It's, it's the reality of the business we're in. You know, coach will tell you, hey, can you go, man? I don't know, coach. Just can you get out here and try it for us? So, so, so we get that every week, every game, you know. And, and, and let me say this. I, 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 I'm by no means a perfect man. By no means a perfect man. But the one thing that, that's dear to me is it, it, the game of football and how it's structured and how we hold each other, what we hold each other. There's a commitment that we give each other when we step on the football field. And we're going to give each other all we have. And if we can be there, we will be there no matter what. Loyalty to that process is everything to me. You know, Troy stepped in for me at a low point. There's nothing you can ever do in your life to make me turn on him because of my loyalty mm -hmm. to him because he stepped in at a low point. That, that made my heart bleed when he went after Tom Brady. Yeah. Just plain and simple made my heart bleed. Mm -hmm. I had seen Tom uh, early, earlier this year at, at, the, at the Hall of Fame. And, and, and I took a picture with him, I posted a picture, but what we were talking about at the back of the hall, in, in, in the back room at the Hall of Fame, was Antonio Brown. Yeah. And, and, and how much he loved Antonio Brown. And I was saying, man, I, I shared with him about me and Troy. I said, man, I appreciate you. I said, I'm always with you for that. I'll never, I'm with, because that, that means something to me. Yeah. Made my heart bleed, yeah. man. But by the same token, when I saw it, but and you're right. That? Brady covered for him so man, many times. A, and and all they talk about only because I played football. Dude, you were out of football. That's right. You were not playing football. Yeah. That's right. And he was trying to pull you back in mm -hmm. because, like, like if you're a pure football player, you need a hook to hold someone. No matter what's going on with them, what's the hook? The hook was football. And he was like, let me just get you back to the hook so we can get you back to a different place. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.